Well, I've been told that someone inside Cisco created a way for WebEx video devices to count the number of people in a meeting room and then warn if that number was too high. Well, all of our expectations about personal space, limiting the number of people around us, our very definition for this room is starting to feel a little bit crowded. It all needs a reset. We have to get used to a smaller threshold. So this sounded like an interesting take on how we could help that along. And I found this blog by JW in Amsterdam, so I reached out. We have these systems sitting in the meeting rooms. They should actually be able to count how many people are in a room. So if you say we want a maximum of four people there, can we automate this in some way? So I was chatting to a colleague of mine and I was like, I know our video systems can count people because we, we use that for logging and we use that to actually frame people automatically in, in the frame. Can I automate this? And he was like, yeah, bear, bear with me. And a couple of minutes later, he, he pushes some, some code to me. I think it took us half an hour to get this to work. And then we had this, this macro running. Well, that didn't sound that hard, but I wanted to see how the code was done. There is a menu option for integration where you can select macro editor. We can see JW's people count macro. The magic, the, the bit that my colleague basically helped me with is this bottom line. This is where we tell the system, if you see the amount of people in view change, let me know give this piece of code a push. And that's the bit above that. If the amount of people we see is more than the amount of people we want in this room, mm -hmm. just push an alert. And that's what the bit on top of that does. And in this case, it just pushes a bit of text to the screen that is in the room, but it could do whatever you want. It could send an email, it could push the, a web page or whatever. And the biggest problem I had when I was building this is to actually find an extra person to trigger the alarm. Oh, so, uh, yeah, because you're working from home. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I was the only one who was at home. So I couldn't find any kids or anyone to, to help me. Um, there's this website which is called uh, does, This Person Does Not Exist. That's a piece of AI that automatically creates faces. Yeah. Because if you just grab any random picture from the internet, of course, you don't want to demonstrate you doing that. Right. As soon as the system picks up that it sees additional people, you now see here at the bottom the system alerting that it's discovered that there's more than one person in the room. So at the moment it says hey, uh, to comply with social distancing guidelines, this room's capacity is limited. And when you take the image uh, away, it can reset the error. Now the code for this is hosted at developer.cisco.com. Just go to technologies, then collaboration, then room devices. You'll see the API descriptions, and here at the bottom under macro samples, there's a button to take you directly to GitHub. You can see the room counter macro as well as Philips Hue control. Hmm. I press call, and I just call another video system here. <laughs> I didn't push any buttons to make this happen. That's Again, the, that's usable. WebEx is so much more open than I realized. API access to all these functions, a little programming knowledge, or even better, a good partner relationship. The point of this is not that everyone needs to be running these COVID-inspired macros. It's just to understand that you can do this kind of thing because anything is possible. So go and play and let me know what you come up with. <laughs>